Intimate partner violence is a abuse or aggression that occurs in a romantic relationship. Intimate partner refers to both current and former spouses and dating partners. IPV can vary in how often it happens and how severe it is. It can range from one episode of violence that could have lasting impact to chronic and severe episode over multiple years. IPV can include any of the following type of behavior. Physical violence is when a person hurts or try to hurt a partner by hitting, kicking or using another type of physical force. Sexual violence is a forcing or attempting to force a partner to take part in a sex act, sexual touching or a non-physical sexual event when a partner does not or cannot consent. Stalking is a pattern of repeated unwanted attention and contact by a partner that causes fear or concern for one's own safety or the safety of someone close to victim. Physiologically aggression is the use of verbal or non-verbal communication with the intent to harm another person mentally or emotionally and or, or to accent control over another person. IPV is connected to other forms of violence and is related to serious health issues and economic consequences. The form of social assistance that we implemented is community-based social protection. Formal so social protection framework does not offer complete coverage and exclude a section of society. A variety of conventional or informal ways to providing social protection to household groups and network fills some of the gap left by formal social protection inventions and distributors within a community. So we choose community-based social protection social assistance for intimate partner violence. We try to build the knowledge base. The most likely reasoning assistance for intimate partner violence are women. Women are the primary victims of intimate partner violence and women between the ages of 18 to 24 are most commonly abused by an intimate partner. Intimate partner violence affects women at greater rates than men because the women often take the passive role in relationship and may become emotionally dependent on their partners. The survey demonstrates the prevalence of intimate partner violence of approximately 8% among all ever partnered women in Malaysia. However, the result could have been underestimated as the nature of intimate partner violence has been a sensitive topic and is usually underreported. Significant factors associated with intimate partner violence were lower education background, lower social economic status, history, and current substance abuse, exposure or period abuse, or violence, or partners controlling behavior, substance abuse, and involved in fights, and lack of social support.
the impact of IPV affects survivors differently. Some may exhibit adaptive and resilient responses to abuse, while others may develop psychiatric symptoms. Approximately 20% of intimate partner violence survivors reported experience a new onset on psychiatric disorders such as major depressive disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, and post-traumatic stress disorder, and a wide range of substance use disorders. Survivors often internalize the verbal abuse from their partner. They may blame themselves for their situation, experience fear as well as anger and resentment towards themselves. Chronic abuse may result in compulsive and abusive behaviors and lead to self-destruction or suicide. After enduring abuse, trauma reactions may lead survivors to experience difficulties in new relationships. Intimate partner violence associated abuse may affect emotional regulation, facial interpretation, and reading of social cues. Intimate partner violence survivors are more likely to experience higher rate of health problems and perceive their overall health as poor. The most common physical symptoms include injuries, headaches, insomnia, chronic pain, choking sensation, hyperventilation, and gastrointestinal symptoms, chest, back, and pelvic pain. Traumatic brain injury and non-fatal strangulation are often unrecognized forms of Intimate, intimate partner violence and can lead to significant short and long term neurologic sequel. Intimate partner violence can also result in unplanned pregnancies and pregnancy complications for the mother and child. IPV survivors are disproportionately affected by comorbid HIV with substance use disorders. Intimate partner violence, sexual assault, and stalking have profound economic effects on victims and survivors. The physical aspect of violence often results in significant medical costs and time off work from home. The long-term psychological consequences may hinder victims' ability to study or hold a job, in some cases perpetrated directly supports their victims' employment. Economic abuse which can take a range of forms including preventing access to financial resources and generating unauthorized debt can leave victims facing economic insecurity and poor credit. Seeking safety is often financially prohibitive, reducing a victim's ability to leave the abuser and recover. This fact should summarize finding from research IPV sexual assault and stalking for victims and survivors. The costs highlighted include medical expenditures, lower wages resulting from diminished educational attainment, lost wages from missed work and job loss. Compared with their non-abuse peers, victims of intimate partner violence are at higher risk of health problems including gynecological dysfunction such as pelvic pain, sexually transmitted infection, consequences often continue long after the abuse has ended. Women who were abused five or more years prior to the survey still face costs that were 19% higher than their non abuse counterparts.